Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video tutorial, I will explain adding multiple React.js components in a single MVC view page. And here we got the final output of our application. Notice this is component 1 and this is component 2. Two components we are displaying in the index view page. This is the component 1 and this is a component 2. I have displaced both these components in the index view page. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. I'm using Visual Studio 2019 for this video tutorial series. For this video tutorial, I'm creating a new MVC application. For that, go to File, New, Project. And from the project templates, I'm selecting ASP.NET Web application, which is a .NET framework. I have selected that one and click next. After that, I'm giving some proper project name, multiple react.js mvc mvc is my project name. And I want to save this project in this e -drive. After that, click create. And after that, I'm selecting the default MVC project template. Click create. And here the project has been created successfully. Let me close this default window. Open Solution Explorer. And notice when I expand the Solution Explorer, in our project there are some default MVC folders and files has been created automatically. In these folders, notice that this is a scripts folder. So let me expand that one. All the client side scripts will save in this scripts folder. If you notice in the scripts folder, right now there is no any React.js folders here or packages. First, we need to install the React.js packages to our project. So for that first, go to tools, Nudget package manager, and I'm selecting the package manager console and from the package manager console I'm installing the react.js packages install iPhone package react dot js enter and here they successfully installed the react.js version 0.4.7 to this application which is our project name if you notice here now the scripts contains a react folder when i expand the react folder there are some react.js files dom components and react.js files javascript files now we request some more react.js packages to install to our project now this time i'm selecting the project right click the mouse management packages go to browse and search for react.js.net and from the search results i'm selecting the react.web.mvc4 click install and this package will take some time to install notice here the attempting to gather dependency information for package now click ok see here when I install this package along with that package there are some more packages has been installed the react.core and web and these three packages is installed in our project references folder let me expand that one see here the react.core web and mvc4 and now we require the javascript engine also javascript engine switcher dot v8 and this is the package i'm looking for to install to our application click ok and that package is installed successfully let me close this readme.txt file and now we require this native windows x86 of the javascript engine switcher click install click ok 
and this package is also installed successfully now we require the 64 version 64 bit click install click ok and this package is also installed successfully now let me close this readme.txt as well as the nudget package window up to now we have just installed the necessary packages to our project application and now let me minimize its references folder as well as the scripts folder also by default when I install this uh, when I create this application the controller name is the home and the default view page is index.cshtml let me browse what the output of this application before adding the react.js functionality and here we got the default output of our application which is the index view page and above and bottom the header and footer is from the layout what I'm doing let me close this debugging stop debugging open index.cshtml I'm deleting this default code now at this moment this index.cshtml contains null it's an empty page now let's create one folder to add the react.js component in this scripts folder let me expand the scripts folder I am creating one new folder called js all my react components I will save in this folder only now in this folder I am adding one jsx file this is a jsx file which is a component js file and the item name I am giving react com1 okay and here we got the react com1.jx file now in this jxx file we'll create a component here here I'm creating a class um, variable let's declare a variable component one let's add the comp is equals to uh, react dot create class create class colon here and this create class render method which is a function this function return colon I'm adding the due tags which is a root element of our component in this root element I'm adding simple h1 tag which contains this is component 1 this is component and 1 and after that the react dot render I want to render this component my variable name here um, variable name comma now I require the element of ID document dot get element by ID this one is let's add component component one the due name is now let's add one more component in the same folder the jsx file this one is a react com2 jsx file now instead of writing the whole code i'm just copying to save the time instead of the h1 tag this i'm changing to this is component 2 and make sure the get element by id must be different here we have here we have added component 1 and here I have added component 2 now my aim is I want to render both component in this index view page so first we need to configure our JavaScript engine 
in open app underscore start notice here the react config dot cs file open that one here using javascript engine switcher v8 colon after that here i'm adding uh, let me delete these all default code uh, here i'm adding javascript switcher dot code dot js js engine switcher dot current current dot default engine name is equals to here i am adding the default engine name is is equals to the engine name is v8 engine dot engine name after that again i am adding switcher dot code dot js switcher dot uh, current current dot engine factories dot add v8 method that's it we need to install this package javascript engine switcher in react config.cs file then only we can run the, our scripts now switch over to index.cshtml here i am adding one table and this table contains one border is equals to one the r table rows and the table data second td for the to display the react component 2 now below the table we require the references of the react js open solution explorer first i am adding um, let me expand this react folder this react.min.js file open drag and drop on our view page after that we require the react components also so again switch open the solution explorer just drag and drop here here script source is equals to at url dot content let's delete this one we don't require and after that i'm adding the same thing for the second component I'm closing the script tag. Now, after adding the source files, now in the TD, I'm adding uh, do tag. Inside this do tag, I'm adding the ID name. This ID, we need to add the component one. From the React component one, I'm adding the component one. The document ID and let's copy this one and this one from the react component 2 I'm adding the component 2 so now we got two components in this index view page that's it let's build this application build succeeded we'll check the output And here we got the final output of our application. Notice this is component 1 and this is component 2. Two components we are displaying in the index view page. This is the component 1 and this is a component 2. I have displaced both these components in the index view page. That's it. Thanks for watching and please subscribe my channel.